30, CBS 46 is fighting for our veterans, but we're not the only ones. Legion Post 45 made a Vietnam veteran's dream come true. He now has a place to finally call home. CBS 46's Bobeth Yates has the story. is now over. This is the uh, answer to a prayer. Vietnam veteran William Bolton is talking about the tiny home he received from American Legion Post 45. I used to have a wonderful home in Sandy Springs, but my wife came down with uh, breast cancer years ago and and uh, after she died, uh, it took everything to just get everything caught up as far as bills. With Bolton having limited income, he struggled to find a place to live. That's when Post 45 stepped in and teamed up with Blessed Trinity Catholic High School in Roswell to build the tiny home. It was done by a number of students after hours. They also needed some funds to help do it, so we put in a Home Depot grant got a grant from the foundation, so we had a bunch of veterans go over and help design it as well. The renovations took several months, but Jim Lindermeyer with Cherokee County Homeless Veterans Program says it has all of the amenities of a regular home. It's a little bit longer than a typical tiny home. Um, it's designed as we designed as a smart home, so it has smart features in it. It's got smart lighting, miniature kitchen in it, sleeping quarters, shower. It runs on 220 volts. As for Bolton, he says he couldn't be happier. It's got everything I need to live in there and be perfect for me. I really appreciate him providing me with a home. I had a piece of land for years, but I never could afford to build a home on it. And now I've got a home I'll be able to live in. Post 45 says they hope to renovate and donate more tiny homes to veterans in the near future. Fighting for our vets, Bo Beth Yates, CBS 46 News.